The Nintendo Switch reveal trailer showcased several games that would be on the system. One of those was a new Mario Kart game, or at least an enhanced port of Mario Kart 8. In the short amount of gameplay shown, we can determine a few things, like how you could have the two items at once, but the notable thing that I'm going to be talking about in this video is that a new character was shown being King Boo. Now King Boo is nothing new to the Mario Kart series being in both Double Dash and Wii, but its appearance in the trailer does let us know of one important thing, that whether this is Mario Kart 9 or Mario Kart 8 Switch, new characters have the potential to be added. So in this video, I'm going to list 10 characters that I would want to see added to the game, be it newcomers or returning favorites, as long as it's from the Mario franchise and wasn't playable in Mario Kart 8, it's eligible for this list. With that being said, let's get started. Coming in at number 10 are Spikes. These guys have been gaining big popularity recently and have been appearing in many more Mario games recently. Spikes have been around since Super Mario Bros. 3. But since its new Super Mario Bros. appearance, Spikes have been in almost every game in the series. Spikes were even playable characters in Mario Party 10, and their stone variations are going to be playable in the upcoming Mario Sports Superstars game. One series they have not appeared in yet is the Mario Kart series. Because of their prevalence in modern titles, I would be surprised if they're omitted from this new entry. They're not just on this list because they're likely to be added though. I really like the Spike enemies. They have a nice design and a very unique mechanic for Mario enemies and throwing, as their name implies, spiky objects at you. If they were included, I would love to see these objects implemented into some cart design. In terms of the Spice classification as a rider, I feel it would be a middle weight and have a middle body size. Spike's heights are pretty inconsistent throughout the Mario games, so I feel putting it in the middle makes sense. Honestly, I feel that everything is lining up for Spike to be included in Mario Kart Switch, and I feel it would be a great addition to the game. And that's why it's at number 10. Coming in at number 9 are both Boom Boom and Pom Pom. I'm counting these two as one entry as they're both very similar, and nowadays, if one of them is in a game, then usually the other one is in it as well. Boom Boom first appeared in Super Mario Bros. 3 as a mini boss, and Pom Pom made her first appearance in Super Mario 3D Land. These two also made their first playable appearances in Mario & Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games, and while not main characters, they were playable in certain modes, and like the Spikes, they are seen playable in Mario Sports Superstars as well. Because of this, I think it is very likely that they will appear as playable characters in Mario Kart Switch. And even though this may seem like a stretch, if there were going to be a double dash style mode in Mario Kart Switch, including them both would provide a pairing that makes a lot of sense. As for what they would be classified as, I think they would be both heavy characters and would have a large body size. And the reason I determined this is because they are much larger than Mario in boss fights, and Mario himself is a medium height and a medium weight. I personally want these characters to be in the game and I feel they have a lot of personality being derpy compared to Mario and including them as racers in my opinion would be a very good idea. Coming in at number 8 is Birdo. Birdo, being a Mario Kart veteran appearing in both Double Dash and Wii, was one of the many characters unfortunately removed from Mario Kart 8. Birdo appeared in several Mario spin-off titles, from the sports games to the party games, quite often you'll see Birdo as a playable character option, and I'm not sure why she was removed from Mario Kart 8. Yes, I did just call Birdo a she. Old Mario games refer to her as a man who thinks he's a girl, but recent Mario games have portrayed Birdo as entirely female, so I'll be referring to Birdo as a she for the rest of this entry. Anyways, continuing on, I do believe that Birdo has a chance to appear in Mario Kart Switch simply to fill out the roster with some already established names. Promoting a Mario Kart game, bringing back the Bee Queen from Mario Kart 7 as a playable character will be something that nobody cares about, but Birdo is someone that many people would want back and has some, albeit not much, drawing power to bring in people who already bought Mario Kart 8 and are debating whether or not to buy Mario Kart Switch. Also, if a double dash mode was in the game, I could almost guarantee Birdo would be back paired with Yoshi. That is why she would be brought back, and I personally want her in Mario Kart Switch as she has a unique personality and it is always fun to see in a Mario Kart game. As for the weight class, I feel she still would be a middleweight and a medium sized character as those were her classifications in Mario Kart Wii. I really would like to see Birdo make a return in Mario Kart Switch, and that's why she was number 8 
on this list. Coming in at number 7 is another returning character, Petey Piranha. Petey was playable in Mario Kart Double Dash and was paired with King Boo, a character already confirmed for Mario Kart Switch, so the possibility is definitely there. I want Petey to be in this game because I honestly just really like the character. He could go from being really intimidating to really goofy, and that kind of personality is what I really want from a Mario Kart character. Petey first appeared in Super Mario Sunshine, and has appeared in several main series and spin-off Mario games since. Most of the time as a boss, but Petey is playable in a few Mario sports games like Sluggers for example. Petey in Double Dash was a heavy character, so I assume that would carry over from Mario Kart Switch, and if he was to be included, I think it's very obvious that he would be a large size. Petey is gigantic, but that doesn't stop you from getting included in the Mario Kart series, unlike certain other series. All in all, Petey Piranha would be a unique addition to Mario Kart Switch. And because he was in Double Dash, I don't see why it would be that unlikely to bring Petey back. Petey was also originally planned to be in Mario Kart Wii, but was scrapped for some reason. So I think putting Petey in this new game would make up for the loss of him appearing as a playable character in Mario Kart Wii. Coming in at number 6 is Nabbit. Nabbit would be a new addition to the Mario Kart series, but I find him more likely than most of the others I went over already. This is because Nabbit is a very new character to the Mario series, and has been thrusted into some game series you wouldn't expect a new character to be in so quickly. Since his debut in New Super Mario Bros U, Nabbit has appeared in several Mario games, and was actually playable in both Mario Golf World Tour and Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. This is very different for a new character and not commonly seen. Nabbit has been gaining popularity through it being put in these titles, and so Certain Mario fans, including myself, would love to see it playable in a Mario Kart game. Some were even expecting Nabbit to be playable in Mario Kart 8, two years ago, and were surprised that it wasn't included. But now that this beloved character has appeared in many more games since then, and has received even more popularity, I think now it is definitely the time to shove Nabbit into the driver's seat. I think that Nabbit would be a lightweight and a small sized character. It is pretty small in some Mario games and I think that weight class for Nabbit makes sense. Because of these reasons, that is why I chose Nabbit for the number 6 spot. We're halfway through these characters now and at number 5 I chose a returning favorite being Dry Bones. Dry Bones has appeared in two Mario Kart games as of this point in time. These are Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart Wii. Dry Bones is a true ancestor of the Mario series, and no I'm not just saying that because they're made of bones. They've been around since Super Mario Bros 3, and have appeared in a ton of games since. This enemy has been in almost every main series title since Mario 3, and is playable in several spin-off titles, from the sports games to the party games. Dry Bones are extraordinarily common throughout the Mario games, being one of the most recognizable enemies from people who don't even know much about the Mario series and is a fan favorite character to people who are Mario fans. Like Birdo, Dry Bones would have some drawing power when being brought back. I would pay to play as Dry Bones in a Mario Kart game again. We already got Dry Bowser, now we need Dry Bones. As for the classes, I feel it would retain the same ones from Mario Kart Wii, being a lightweight character because it's just bones. And for the size, I think Dry Bones would be small again. Really what else could I say? Dry Bones is awesome, and adding it to Mario Kart Switch would definitely be a great idea. That is why I chose Dry Bones for the number 5 spot. Coming in to spot number 4 is Diddy Kong. Donkey Kong's sidekick is no stranger to racing games, with some even being named after him like Diddy Kong Racing. In terms of Mario Kart games, Diddy Kong has appeared as a playable character in both Double Dash and Wii. Diddy was playable in several spin-offs as well, being a staple character to see in most nowadays. Why Diddy was removed from Wii and not put in Mario Kart 8 is beyond me, but if new characters are being added to Mario Kart on the Nintendo Switch, I feel that Diddy would definitely have to be one of them. Diddy has a great personality, and combined with the fact that he could pair very well with Donkey Kong in a Double Dash style mode, I feel Diddy would fit right in amongst the other characters. Diddy Kong in Double Dash was a lightweight character, but in Wii was a middleweight, so I'll be going with that one. I prefer to use the latest appearance of the character for its class because it's a more up-to-date assessment of the character. 
I also think Diddy would be a middle size as well. Because Diddy is such a staple character, I feel he definitely has a good chance of appearing in Mario Kart Switch, and I definitely would want to see him in the game. Coming in at number 3 is Kamek. Magikoopas have been in the Mario series for a long time, making their debut as an enemy in Super Mario World. But five years later, the leader of this species would make his debut in Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. This Magikoopa is Kamek. This Magikoopa in particular has appeared in several Mario games, mostly seen as either an aide to Bowser and his army, or as a guardian of baby Bowser. Kamek is often referred to as just a regular Magikoopa. But it's not. Kamek is above the regular Magikoopa. There is one Kamek, but there are many Magikoopas. Magikoopas were actually playable characters in Mario baseball games and are going to be in Mario Sports Superstars, but Kamek in particular isn't playable in any Mario game. I do feel that it is likely though, perhaps more likely to appear than the regular Magikoopa, because Kamek was originally planned to be a playable character in Mario Kart before. Yes, Kamek was going to be playable in Mario Kart 64, but was replaced with Donkey Kong. This, along with the fact that there is a Magikoopa emblem found in the data for Mario Kart 8, points to the idea that Kamek was considered to be a playable character, even for recent games. It's not out of the question to assume that Kamek would be added, and I definitely would want to see him in Mario Kart Switch. Being a character that would be a new addition to the Mario Kart series, I have free speculation on the size and weight class of Kamek. Throughout the Mario games, Magikoopas are shown at varying sizes, so I think that putting Kamek at a middle weight class and a middle size would make sense. If a Magikoopa would be playable in Mario Kart Switch, I would be happy, but because of these reasons, I think that that Magikoopa in particular would be Kamek. Coming in at number 2 is Professor E. Gad. When you bring up the topic of characters that haven't been in a Mario Kart game before that should be in a Mario Kart game, one of the first names that always comes up is Professor E. Gad. Making his first appearance in Luigi's Mansion, E. Gad gained popularity in the Mario fanbase very quickly and is one of the most requested characters to be playable not just in Mario Kart games, but in other series like Mario Sports games for example. One of the reasons I love Egad so much is because of the mystery surrounding him. This character has a certain mystique that is very deep for the Mario series, I think fans enjoy that as a change. Most Mario characters are very basic, but Egad has a depth that is rare by this franchise's standards. This is one of the reasons I want him in Mario Kart Switch. Whereas for why I think it's likely that he'll appear, I really don't have much for that one. The appearances of Professor Egad are very random, so I can't use game releases to say why he would be likely, but I did manage to find something. In the US prototype demo for Mario Kart DS, Professor Egad's name appears in a file, indicating that he was planned to be playable. But this is the list of characters I want in Mario Kart Switch and Egad is definitely one I would want to play as. I feel that Egad would be a lightweight and a small character size as he definitely isn't a big character. If this list were just about newcomers to the Mario Kart series, Professor Elvin Gad would be number one. However, there is one returning character that tops him on this list. And finally, coming in at the number one spot is Bowser Jr. Okay, let me get this straight. Bowser Jr., the son of Bowser, who has appeared in almost every Mario game since his debut in Super Mario Sunshine, including three Mario Kart games, was not included in Mario Kart 8. The Mario Kart game that focused on Bowser's children, with the addition of all seven Koopalings, but Bowser Jr., another one of Bowser's kids, wasn't included. Five baby characters were in the game, but Bowser Jr., couldn't be fit in. And worst of all, Pink Gold Peach was in Mario Kart 8, but Bowser Jr. wasn't. Come on. Bowser Jr. is a staple character of the Mario series. He is immensely popular and is no stranger to racer games, but apparently Cat Peach was more of an asset to the roster of Mario Kart 8 than this character of huge drawing power. I know personally that some fans are very upset by this. 
all of these wastes of space in the roster for Mario Kart 8, but Bowser Jr. couldn't be fit in. I thought along with practically every other Mario Kart fan on the planet that Bowser Jr. would be added as a playable character as DLC down the line after the initial release of the game. But no, we got Tanuki Mario instead. I know it was a disappointment not having Bowser Jr. playable in Mario Kart 8, but in Mario Kart Switch, there's a definite possibility that Bowser Jr. could be added. This would make fans rejoice as one of the most beloved characters in the franchise would finally be making his return to kart racing. I certainly would be one of those people happy at the addition of Bowser Jr. As for the classes, well, in the two main Mario Kart games that Bowser Jr. appears in, being both Double Dash and Wii, Bowser Jr. is listed under a different weight class in each, being a lightweight in Double Dash and a middleweight in Wii. But like with Diddy Kong, I will be treating the most recent classifications as the more likely ones. This means I think that Bowser Jr. would be a middleweight and a middle size if he were going to appear in Mario Kart Switch. Bowser Jr. is a fantastic villain and boss and his absence from Mario Kart 8 is unjustified in my opinion. I feel putting Bowser Jr. in Mario Kart Switch would be the best character that could be added. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and check out some of my others. Click the links on screen. They work on mobile too. I would really appreciate seeing your thoughts in the comment section too. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.